Hey, this is Renee. Um, today's project, we're going to be focusing on custom marbling your own colors. So we've got quite a few inks in your kit, but you'll use your primary colors and create purples and different colors that you will see in nature. So think about your composition. What do you want your pieces to, to look like? Um, again, once we, as we mix our colors in marble, another thing that we will be doing is marbling on all kinds of objects and materials, paper. Have fun, everyone, and let's marble and make custom paints. Hope you love today. Color theory is a huge world, so dig in. We designed this color wheel and so yellow and red make orange. Yellow and blue make green. Red and blue make purple. Okay, so if you want to make something that has very contrasting colors, you want the colors to show up very bright against each other, you might do a marbling with red and green so kind of like we did in our other design, this one. Red and green, they really show up strongly against each other because they're opposite on the color wheel and our eyes see them as totally different. Whereas, let's see, purple and yellow, that would be fun to make. Maybe we should make a purple and see if we can do that with purple and yellow. Or we could do, we could marble that are next to each other, like an orange and a red, which I believe we did that. In this design, we have an orange and a red, so they just look harmonious a little bit more, right? And then we've got this blue over there that's more of a focal point. So colors can, me, can help you design what you want as far as what is your message and how vibrant do you want it to be? Or do you want it to be calm? So um, we talked about doing purple and yellow. So I'm gonna make a little, just I don't wanna add too much paint here, but I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow. I'll just use two drops. And then we've got red and blue, which makes purple, right? So I think what I'll do is just pull some of this blue over here. Let's just pull a little blue over there. Kind of messing up both colors, but this is color making day. Let's see what color that is. It might be a little bit too red. Okay, this is our blue. This is our more kind of purple. Let me put one more drop of blue, and sometimes you just have to play you just want to add one drop at a time because one drop goes a long way. I think we're getting our purple close to what we want. Ooh, I see it. We've got blue here, so we'll do we'll do this one blue and purple since we've let's just see if we've got enough blue in there. Use the back of my brush and just add some yellow. Yellow. Okay, is that a nice one? Try not to get your paper wet before you print because it won't print where it's wet, it has to be dry. Got a little air bubble there, but sometimes it'll print there anyway, yep. Okay. We've got some yellow and we've got some purple. Just up, you know, stir up, stir up your water, wash out your brush. I'm gonna keep my blue brush and I'm gonna See if I can create this lime green over here. I think it needs more yellow. 
Maybe this will be my lime green. So don't, you have to be a little bit careful. You don't want to just make a mess because you'll end up with a bunch of brown. Um, and if you need to use your bottles to squirt more in, a little at a time, do that. Sometimes at the end of the day, I just really, or in, into my marbling, I love just putting my brush into different ones. I mean, you do have to be a little careful and look at your color wheel. Try not to dip the colors that are opposite on your color wheel together, like red and green. If you did that, you would just have gray, unless you want gray. All right, Add a little dark green over here, maybe, and let me see if I can add a little purple. Ooh, that looks very good. So these are going to be fun later. We're going to use sections and create little collages. You might start to see little things. You know how you see images in clouds. You might see images in these designs. Okay, let's see. My paper isn't big enough for everything, so I think I'll just get that right there. And I've got this here. Now all of that is going to move across my page. I like that one. I might just print what's on there right now just to see what it looks like. That would be a nice background design. Didn't even do anything. Look how great that is. This is a part of making art that is the best part. It's just exploring and discovering and not feeling like you have to be perfect. So let's see if we can print on this little origami piece. I'm gonna show you how to make origami later. Let's see, let's do yellow and blue. Because it's pink, it may not show up, but let's just try it. We're experimenting. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start here. I think I'll just press it down. Ah. That actually turned out pretty cool. I pushed it all the way in so that it marbled both sides. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Fun. All right, you guys do that. Look around the room and see what else you can find that you might wanna marble. I'm gonna do one more because I've got another marbling piece over here. I've got another little origami. Let's see, I think I might wanna add Ooh, our purple is so beautiful. You know, at the end of the day, or you want to take a break, whatever paint is left here is just lost if it, if it dries up. So you definitely don't want to add too much. I'm just going to kind of pull my brush through here. All right. Ooh, that looks nice. I've got to print that on paper. Kind of looks like a dragon. All right, we haven't used orange yet, so 
We can use orange or we can make our own orange, right? Using red and yellow. I'm just gonna use my yellow brush. I had it in that light yellow. I would not use my blue brush in that because it would really, they're opposite on the color wheel. Sometimes you can dip it into a color that's similar. Purple, just did the purple and the blue kind of mixed in there because I just dipped it in the blue and then the purple. They're all so good. All right, let's see if we can print on this little cup, origami cup. We're gonna make those. That turned out very cool. I've got a little bit left. I am going to just let it move around a little bit. I hope you can see that swirling. 